Yo, what's going on everybody? It's JD and I just finished checking out the Sony PlayStation conference. Oh my God, it was epic, it's crap. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown about what happened because I want you guys to know what I saw and I, I want you to be informed. You need to be informed. So they started off the conference with something epic. And when I mean epic, I mean, uh, Paul already guessed it on our podcast, God of War is coming to next gen. And uh, basically it's basically, you know, it's God of War 4, Kratos has a son, he teaches him how to kill and, and slice open uh, elk meat. It's weird, it's fun, but I'm, 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 I'm really excited. <laughs> video games, video games. It was the first thing to come up and it looks gorgeous. It's got a little bit of a Last of Us feel to it or maybe Bloodborne, but I think it'll be a fun little game. And then Sony went right into it and they started to show us Horizon Zero Dawn. That's the one that looks like, to me, it looks like Heavenly Sword too and it's with a bunch of robot birds and like robot dinosaurs and robot bears and stuff and you see people like shooting arrows and things the girl looks like heavenly sword so i'm gonna call it heavenly sword 2 for now but uh that game's looking kind of kind of dope next we got info about some game that i, I can't even explain it it looked like some futuristic like like crazy like matrix movie type of thing and it was called like detroit futuristic something i i forgot the name me i i I was walking into the to the conference right when it was happening. I was like, what 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 is what the what is this? And then I started watching. It was it was beautiful. And then we got a scary game. And I didn't know what was happening, but I was watching this game and as I'm watching it, I'm sitting back like, yo, that looks like that looks like Resident Evil, son. Is that Resident Evil? And then we got the confirmation. It was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard? And it was and it was VR capable. I don't, guys. I'm you know I'm not good with scary games. A VR capable, a VR capable Resident Evil. I don't know if I'm, a, I'm gonna. I'm not sure if I'm a dabble. I might. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not absolutely sure. And then they went to a first-person shooter that reminded me of Red Faction. If anybody knows that game, but this one was called Farpoint, and uh, it doesn't look too far from amazing. That was good, right? You like that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. No big deal, no big deal. And then it was at this time that the whole conference took a turn and went into the VR lane. Yeah! And these motherfuckers are so loud behind me, so I'm not gonna keep that part. Or maybe I will. Fuck's wrong with you, bro? I'm just kidding. And then the whole conference went and just shifted left into VR. We, we got, we got Battlefront, Star Wars X-Wing Battlefront VR. We got Batman VR coming soon. I don't, how, how is there a VR Batman? And then Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 15 will have a VR capability where you play as one of the characters from the main cast th throughout the whole game. PlayStation, you're killing me. I don't, I don't even understand what's happening anymore. Like, explain this to me. The next game that came up really kind of threw me through a loop because, you know, people have been talking bad about this game for the last two months, but it was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it looked pretty good. It looked pretty freaking awesome. Like they were showing, they were showing people getting like gang in, in, in space. And there was like a rappel launcher and it was like taking off people's faces. Ah, it was crazy. And then they showed the remastered Modern Warfare. Hey, it was nice though. It was pretty nice. Oh, and then, oh, okay. Let's continue, let's continue. They got, they got my nostalgia. They got me right down there, the nostalgia, all right? <laughs> they showed Crash Bandicoot and I was like, no, they're not making a new Crash Bandicoot game. And I was exactly right, because they're not. They're making some sort of weird, like, Crash Bandicoot Skylanders crossover. They did this with Conker. They did this with Conker, where Conker uh, on Xbox was spliced into, I think it was that weird game, Spore. Nobody played it, bro. Nobody played it. You gotta give us standalone IPs of old school nostalgia if you wanna sell tickets. But then again, how many people would really buy that? I mean, I don't know. Everybody in the room was gonna buy it, but I don't know about kids. Kids might not give a shit. And then I'm just gonna get through this part real quick. They had like Lego Star Wars Episode 7. I don't give a, I don't care. Okay, it looks, 
like a Lego game. I'm not gonna lie, the Lego games are fun, but it was it was just not for me. But you know what was for me? This lit ass Spider-Man trailer. Spider-Man for PS4. And what's weird is like, nobody knows what the suit for the movie Homecoming is supposed to be like, but I feel like they just showed it off. I feel like they definitely showed us the Spider-Man suit tonight. And I don't know if that's true or not, but the gameplay, oh, it looks, it's so, it looks flawless. It looks so fun. It looks amazing. Oh, but you know what was really amazing? What they did right after that, they, but I can't, I can't get this out. The God came out, Hideo Kojima. Kojima Productions came out and I was like, what's he doing here? And then we, and you know, Hideo Kojima was like, I've got a game for you. I've been working on it. Enjoy. Next thing you know, we get the, 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 we get the wool pull back from our eyes. And you see Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead naked. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was Solid Snake because they showed the top of his head first and he's holding a baby. And then, and then he gets up and he's like the baby, it's like some Full Metal Alchemist, like anime shit. And out of nowhere, the baby's gone and I just don't know what's happening. But it's called Death Stranding, I believe. I might've said that wrong, but video games are back, people. I'm sorry, Sony's killing it. What, what can we do? Sony knows how to sell games. That's exactly what happened. Sony said, hey, we about to give you that fire. And the next thing you know, everybody inside the arena was burnt to a crisp. That's what happened. And then to end it all off, they showed us some game called Days Gone. And I was like, Last of Us 2? Because that's exactly how it looks and how it plays. But it seems like it's just some like new game where you're some like hillbilly or some actually some random guy in the middle of like podunk nowhere and there's zombies everywhere. And literally there's like, when I say there's zombies, there's like hordes of zombies. I don't even understand how the guy got away from them. Like during the demo, it looked like they just had it keyed up so he would get away and I think he did. And then at the end, he was trapped with a bunch of zombies and it was, it was pretty crazy, but I, I mean, all in all, it was amazing. This, I mean, I'm waiting for Nintendo, but this conference for today, out of all the ones I've seen, out of EA, out of Bethesda, out of Ubisoft and Xbox, this one's taking the cake. So I gotta give it up to Sony PlayStation. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hey, be sure to hit that like button. Links will be in the description below. If you like these types of videos, let me know. I'll be trying to continue them all week. Uh, share this, and if you're new here, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I love making this type of content for you, and I'll catch you later. Peace.